Hey you guys, Rebecca from Simple As That blog here. I'm just popping in to share a quick video tutorial with you. Um, I love the look of using overlays on my photos and last year I created a fun set of Halloween photo overlays that I wanted to show you how to use really quickly. Um, they're very simple to use. They can be used in Photoshop, Photoshop Elements, or at PicMonkey.com. And uh, so what you're looking at here is the complete set of photo overlays that you get when you purchase the Halloween set from the Simple As That digital shop. And here's a, qu a few quick examples of how I've used them on some of my images. So first one here, you can see the overlay at the bottom. This one, I applied just this quick little um, word art to the upper left corner. Another simple one right here. And this one as well that just has Halloween and then the year. So you can see they're just, they add just a little bit of, of a fun element to your images. And I'm just going to show you quickly how you can do this yourself. So first thing you're going to do is open up your image that you'd like to apply the photo overlay to. Next, you're going to open up your overlay. I'm going to find mine right here and open it up. And you'll see that when you open it, it is on a transparent background. They are all PNG files and the text overlay itself is black, but we can customize that color and I'm going to show you how to do that in just a second. So the easiest way to um, Put this overlay onto your image is to hit Control A to select all, Control C to copy, then click over to your image and hit Control V to paste. Okay, now you can see the overlay on the photo. We can move it around wherever we'd like it to go. I'm going to put it right down here. It seems like the perfect spot for it. And if you need to resize it, you can. You just hit Control T and while holding down the Shift key, just drag these corners and you can change the size of the overlay. Hit enter to apply. Okay, now if you want to change the color of the overlay, what you're going to do is go up here to select. You're going to load selection. Hit OK. And that's going to highlight the overlay itself. And then you can go into edit, fill, and choose a color. Okay, so I can change it to orange. I can pick a color from my image itself. I can change it to white and let's just see what that looks like when we apply it. Okay, deselect and you can see you can change it to white or whatever color you want. So they're very customizable, um, they're fun to use. You can even apply them not just to a photo but you can create a blank canvas that it is a solid color and create your own little um, project life card if you'd want to, to with the word art that you get in the um, overlay set. So that's just, a, that's just a quick and simple explanation of how to use the overlays in Photoshop. So the great thing about these photo overlays is that you don't need to have Photoshop or Photoshop elements to use them. They're PNG files and you can use them at PicMonkey.com and they're very simple and, and easy to use here with their free editing software. So to use them at PicMonkey, the first thing you're going to do is open up the image that you'd like to apply the overlay to. So here's mine I'm going to grab right here. And once that's open, you're going to click over here on Overlays. Now PicMonkey has all kinds of different overlays available that you can use, but you can also choose to use your own. And that's what we're going to do here. We're going to click Your Own. And you can find the overlay that you'd like to apply and open that up. And you can see here that it's on our image now. And we can resize it by dragging the corners right here. Okay, so very easy. Just, it's on our image already. Now you can customize it as well. You can rotate it if you'd like by using this. Okay, and I just showed you how to resize. You can resize it. You can even hold the shift key down and just, you can squish it up a little if you want to do that, if you need some extra room. Okay, so once we've got the overlay on here, if you would like to change the color, you can do that just using the color picker over here on the right. And it's so easy. And that's all there is to it. You can save your image and you can print it with the overlay applied like that. And that's all there is to it.
So I hope you enjoyed this video tutorial and if you like the photo overlays, just visit the Simple as That digital shop and you can purchase them there.